Good evening. I'm Valerie Pritchard. I'm Alicia Richards. So good to be with you tonight. State House Speaker Mark Rossi has literally locked fellow lawmakers out of the House chamber. He and members cannot agree on how to proceed with this session. Rossi kicked off his listening tour in Pittsburgh last night. He was moved by what he heard, but made news with what he said. Dennis Owens has a story. The purpose of this tour is to hear from you, the people. And the people gave them an earful. Tired of living in a gun violence epidemic that has been worsened by partisan gridlock. Making Pennsylvania primary elections open to independence will help solve the partisan divide. Each time the gift ban bill is turned up dead, there have been no fingerprints on the body. No one was responsible. No one was to blame. No one had to explain their position to the voters. Why are child sex abuse survivors always being used as a political beach ball? That struck a nerve with Rozzi, who was here to listen. But the mostly silent speaker said this about an amendment that would let survivors sue their abusers. And I will keep the doors of the House locked until we have an, a fair agreement to get that through. Republican leader Brian Cutler objected, sending this letter to Rozzi, calling the locked door policy improper, adding, our house belongs to the people of Pennsylvania, not to any one member or members. Rozzi moves his listening tour to Philadelphia Friday, but he also wants lawmakers to listen to him, saying that amendment needs to move and by itself, not bundled with other issues. But my first priority as speaker, and I have made it clear, is to get victims of childhood sexual assault, children who have been raped, Justice. Critics and Republicans say Rossi shouldn't be listening in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. They all should be working in Harrisburg. Working in Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.